Hi, everybody. I am uh, so glad that you're tuned into this uh, hymn sing that we're having tonight. And uh, when I was growing up, I'm sitting here at a piano. I'm just remembering about the fact that when I was a child, I, I, I learned how to play the piano not very well, just a little tiny bit. There was this first song I ever learned was called Camp Town Races, and it went like this. That was it, it was called Camp Town Races. I wish I could play the piano. That happens to be uh, one of the only songs I know. Um, but the truth is I love music. I love all kinds of music. I love seasonal music. I love music that's expressive, responsive, storytelling, um, uh, reflective. Um, songs that simply um, are tender, songs that are uh, loud and boisterous and some of you are thinking I bet he I thought you were gonna say 50s or pop music or rock and roll or country music or, or city music um, rap or something like that the, the truth is the style of music doesn't make any difference to me um, but I like songs that remind me of something I like songs that tell a story I like songs that proclaim truth or remind me of the important things of life. And that's one of the reasons why I, I, I enjoy hymns. And maybe you're, maybe you're uh, watching this or gonna participate in this because your spouse loves hymns. Um, and maybe, maybe you, you aren't in love with them. But know this, the people who learned these songs, that was how they learned theology. That's how they learned about God. That's how they learned about scripture because a lot of them couldn't read. And they simply by repetitive singing, learned the truths of scripture. Um, my favorite song is a song called, uh, Take My Life and Let It Be. And uh, a lady named Frances Haverga wrote it back in uh, 1874. And uh, when she wrote it, uh, the circumstances were the fact that she was going to somebody's house and there were 10 people that were gonna be there. And, and she was asking God to be a blessing to these people. Uh, some of them were saved, some of them knew Jesus Christ, and some didn't. And, and she just asked a prayer, hey, God, give a blessing tonight to these people. And um, all of them heard, and in her own words, she used this phrase after the night was over. Each one of these people received the blessing of the Lord tonight. And the truth is, the reason why uh, this song came about is later that night, she was just reflecting as she went to sleep about what God had done with her original prayer. And there was this idea of ever only all for me. I want to read to you the first stanza of this, uh, um, of this song because this song actually proclaims such great truth and it goes like this. It says, take my life and let it be consecrated Lord to thee. Take my moments and my days let them flow in ceaseless praise. Let them flow in ceaseless praise. And then the song goes on to talk about using our hands and using our feet and using our voice and our lips and our silver and our gold and, and God's will, not our will and, and our heart for him, not our heart for ourselves. And asking that our life would simply be consecrated to God above everything else in all creation. That's the song that I love the most. Uh, Bev and I had that song sung at our wedding. I had that song sung when I got ordained. Simply means a great deal to me and it's been a part of my life for uh, about uh, 40 years now. And uh, I just wanna share that with you as we jump into our hymn sing tonight. Enjoy these words, enjoy this opportunity. And the last thing I want to say is this, these first couple of weeks back as a church live, um, there's not as much music that's being shared because of the droplets that are coming more rapidly when we sing. And that's one of the reasons why we wanted to have a virtual hymn sing for a couple of, for this week. And maybe you can watch this again next week and just participate in the joy of the Lord. Uh, we love you and uh, we're going to have a a praise, virtual praise night one of these days too. Looking forward to that as well. God is good. Enjoy this time together tonight.
Hi Lincoln, Rachel McGee here. I'm so glad Harry and Pastor John have set up this virtual hymn sing, and I look forward to singing together someday again. Um, the hymn I'd love to share with you is called Praise to the Lord, the Almighty. I grew up singing this hymn, and it's also one of the first ones I learned to play on the piano. Something I love about it is that the way it's written sounds a lot like a psalm. The way that the verses are written and the imagery used is really similar to how psalmists praised God through their words. I recorded this for St. Andrew's Lutheran Church where I work, and the organist is Ginger Herrera. to sing for the beauty of the earth. I first learned it in Little Women when my mom made me watch it as a little kid. I always loved singing along even though it really annoyed her. Of the day and of the night 
One of my favorite hymns is Because He Lives. The words of the refrain is just some words I love to keep in my heart and mind because they're so heartwarming, they're so joyous, and it reads as this, Because He lives, I can face tomorrow. Because He lives, all fear is gone. Because I know He holds the future. And life is worth the living just because He lives. God sent his sign, they called him Jesus, he came to love, heal and forgive, he lived and died, to buy my pardon. My Savior lives Because He lives I can face tomorrow Because He lives All fear is gone Because I know He holds the future Life is worth the living just because He lives. How sweet to hold a newborn baby and feel the pride and joy He gives. But greatest is. The calm assurance This child can face uncertain days Because he lives Because he lives I can face tomorrow Because he lives All fear is God, because I know He holds the future, and life is worth the living just because He lives. And then one day I'll cross the river. I'll fight life's fine, no war with pain. And then as death gives way to victory, I'll see the lights of glory and I'll know He reigns because He I can face tomorrow because he lives. All fear is gone because I know he holds the future and life is worth the living just because he Because he lives The hymn that I've chosen to sing is called Jesus I My Cross Have Taken and it's not one of the most popular hymns but I heard it for the first time in college and fell in love with it because of one line in the song 
And the entire song is about taking up our cross to follow Jesus. Um, and we know as Christians that life will not be easy, that we will go through trials, that we're tested, but ultimately we can trust in our God. And so this hymn really talks about how even when life is hard, we trust in his unchanging character. And the line that I really love is, I have called thee Abba Father, I have stayed my heart on thee. And I just hope that I can have the same resolution as the song does to say that I have called God my Father, I've stayed my heart on him. And so the storms of life can come, but I can trust in his perfect will and his sovereignty and his goodness. So I'm gonna sing it acapella. Jesus, I my cross have taken All to leave and follow Thee Destitute, despised, forsaken Thou from hence my all shalt be Perish every fond ambition All I've sought or hoped or known Yet how rich is my condition God in heaven are still my own Let the world despise and leave me They have left my Savior too Human hearts and looks deceive me Thou art not like them untrue Oh, while thou dost smile upon me God of wisdom, love, and might Foes may hate and friends disown me Show thy face and all is bright Go then, earthly fame and treasure Come disaster, scorn, and pain. In thy service, pain is pleasure. With thy favor, loss is gain. I have called thee up a father. I have stayed my heart on thee. Storms may howl and clouds may gather. All must work for good to me. So then know thy full salvation. Rise or sin and fear and care. Joy to find in every station. Something still to do or bear. Think what spirit dwells within thee. Think what father's smiles are thine. Think that Jesus died to win thee. Child of heaven, canst thou repine? Haste thee on from grace to glory. Armed by faith and winged by prayer. Heaven's eternal days before thee. God's own hand shall guide us there. Soon shall close thy earthly mission. Soon shall pass thy pilgrim days. Hope shall 
change to glad fruition, faith to sign and prayer to pray. Uh, this is a song I always play for my family. The song makes me really happy and grateful for everything that God has done. It is 
faithfulness. That's something that God's taught me throughout my life is there are times when I'd done things wrong, but he was always there. He always was there comforting. He was there encouraging. And my life story has been one of God showing his faithfulness in spite of my unfaithfulness, always giving me the opportunity to come back to him. And, and I just want to express my thankfulness and sing this song now, Great is Thy Faithfulness. Sun, moon, and stars in their courses. 
as above. Join with all nature in manifold witness to thy great faithfulness, mercy, and love. Great is thy faithfulness, great is thy faithfulness, morning by morning new mercies I see, all I have needed thy hand hath provided, great is thy faithfulness, Lord unto me. Pardon for sin and a peace that endureth thine own dear presence to cheer and to guide strength for today and bright hope for tomorrow blessings all mine with ten thousand beside great is thy faithfulness great is thy faithfulness morning by morning new mercy i see all i have needed thy hand hath provided great is thy faithfulness great is thy faithfulness great is thy faithfulness lord unto Great is thy faithfulness. Amen. I hope you enjoyed those songs. What a great opportunity to remember. What a great opportunity to proclaim. What a great opportunity to sing along. And uh, that's what the body of Christ is all about. Uh, and that's one of the other reasons for um, congregational singing is just the idea of expressing together. Thank you for expressing the love for the Lord the truths of the Lord, the truths of Scripture, and just enjoying being together as a body of Christ virtually. We love you very much. We look forward to seeing you in person soon.